Services, the Sunday services, prayer meetings. For us here in this vicinity, we have no religious fanat fanatics. We respect each other. Uh, people don't uh, uh, torment us when coming to church. We also don't give any uh, bad mood against them in, according to their faith. But we come to worship freely. We tend to encourage them with fine talks, telling them what is the way forward. Religion doesn't mean that we are to separate or hit each other. We are to work one in one for the development of the community. 15 years of age, I thought it wise that to join this journey will be a beneficial thing to me. So I joined Christianity and I joined the Catholic mission. So I was attending church. I was encouraged by the uh, prayer leader who was then Mr. Jess Bangura. And up to this time, because I'm seeing that is the Catholic uh, mission is only the road that I will follow that I will gain my salvation. As you said, the war has done a uh, lot in this area. So we as religious people, we met the people, uh, talk to them, encourage them, uh, trying to preach the Bible to them, especially by putting some verses from the Bible that if the enemy strike you the uh, right she gave me, gave him the left. If he or she forces you to carry your load one mile, carries two miles. So we are not to uh, fight our enemies. We are to pray for them so that God will change them. Because it is the only way forward. By changing them by God, that will uh, bring peace in our country and in this community.
word of God is the only thing that can, you can rely on that can make you happy in this world. Nothing you can do without the help of God. Everything you do, you have to put first, God first, before success. So that's what I'm encouraging all the entire community to take up the cross of Jesus and follow Him. Yes, I have one experience about one. Presently, he's not. He's, he has died a long time ago, so I have an experience of him. He is Michael S. Conte, who has been serving this area for a long time, and he really tried to bring up the community. Really, we are proud of him. I got my Buddha Saint Paul because after experiencing a luxury life, he later ended up to follow Jesus Christ and left out his luxury life and and be treated as a poor later for the word of God. So really, I'm taking his mood. The community, maybe, I'm expecting it to be very huge in the future. I'm expecting to, this community to be a very huge community in the future. That's my dream. Because of how the kids are presently with me, and how they are participating in the church activities, so I'm expecting the community to be very huge in the future. also gave me a lot of problems. While I decided myself to visit her once a week, presently this day, there is no educated person here. So I really helped them to realize, especially on Sundays. I discussed with them and I even explained to them the importance of a religion, especially the faith on Catholic basis. So I explained much about them, much about that. We discussed much about it. So the last time also we went on a train and I explained uh, to the to, to the Paris priest, the angels of it. So later we discuss with the people and they even plan to change up their mind and know that God is first in everything. twice a week because it's the second largest community that I have in my area. You know, in this community, I have my prayer leader, which is Joseph K. Bangura, who is taking care in absence of me. 